Hello and welcome back to our HIP Roman Restoration campaign. In our last episode, we successfully saw off the host invasion without uh, too much trouble. And we declared a few more wars over here in the area of the Levant. We have declared on the Seljuks for the Duchy of Palestina Prima, aka Jerusalem, I think. Well, it contains the county of Jerusalem anyway, so we will get that. Uh, also on this guy up here and on Egypt. So we are waiting for some troops to get together over here. Let's actually disband the Islander troops, as usual. Must be great living on Crete or Cyprus. You never get called up to go to war. But they're very happy about it. Alright, we have 13k here. I don't think we're going to need more than that to fight this guy. So we can divert this army up here. I think he has a revolt going on against him right now anyway, so... Actually, no, it's a Armenian Holy War. But that is against him directly, I think? Either way, he's distracted. Unfortunately, Armenia is actually sieging his land here, the land that we want, so... Hmm. Let's hope that their war is not for the same duchy. Probably war for Van. He's over here. Okay, it's a different duchy, so they might siege some of the land we want, but uh, it shouldn't cause too many problems. Though I think if they have holdings occupied, we won't get those holdings. Or at least that's the case for holy wars. It might not be the same for imperial reconquests. I guess we'll find out. Okay, our duke is up to 55 opinion. We'll hopefully get him out of any factions he's in. Not yet, but the factions are not really a problem. Of course, we're now getting opinion penalties with everyone for having their troops raised again, but what can you do? We can't just not go to war. We've got a lot of land to conquer. Alright, so it seems like the Armenian army has left this county, so we'll take the opportunity to get our troops in there. Get things sieging. 20,000 together over here. We know the Seljuks are pretty weak, so we'll just march down here and get into our target duchy and start sieging things. Egypt is not weak, but they are involved in another war somewhere over here, I'm thinking, but sure exactly where. Probably send the next batch of troops. I oh, know, they're not actually distracted. They are sending 20,000 troops in my direction. I apparently won a battle over here. Raiders, okay. Captured a prisoner as well. If they don't want to ransom him, we'll just execute him. And our genius grandson, who we are hoping to play as, needs an education, so of course we're going to take care of that ourselves. Alright, I'm going to delay this 20,000 since there is an equal or approximately equal number from Egypt on their way. Wait until we have a few more. Oh, apparently lost a siege, okay. Wait until we comfortably outnumber the Egyptian army before we send troops. This 25 or 26,000 should be okay. Latium usurping things. And another siege down here. I guess we have land in... This county? Well, there's one holding there. Now we have another holding over here, apparently. I imagine these guys are under the King of Jerusalem. Or under the Knights Hospitaller, who are in turn under Jerusalem. And that is kind of a mess. Not a big deal, though. Alright, I think we'll just march down the coast here and look for 
Egypt's army and fight it. If at all possible. I think we're safe enough sieging up here. Oh, you collected a tithe in any all. That's weird. All the other tithes have been in Constantinople. Uh, Paphlagonia here has entered a new faction. Okay. Well, I think he's the one we're already working on, yes, so that's fine. We need a new steward. Um, I guess... Hmm, maybe we'll appoint you instead. He's only one point worse, and... It would improve his opinion. So it seems like Egypt is just intent on sieging more of my holdings down there. Which is fine. Uh, praise the heavens, we have good crops in Uskudar. We can hold a great harvest feast this year. Ooh, so we get extra taxes. That's pretty good. That was probably... Uh, unfortunately we took some attrition over there, just uh, in that one county. So we don't quite outnumber them by as much now. Taking attrition over here as well. Let's just get out of there, hopefully, before we take any actual losses. My moodiness and tendency to lash out at people is getting worse. I sleep too little. I can't seem to stop worrying. Getting the traits stressed. Okay, well, that's not great, but not a huge problem. Yeah, we're going to take a lot of attrition through this county if we march through. Hmm, if we landed our troops here with uh, boats, though. I think that's going to be our best move, actually. Meanwhile, we have 18,000 more here, so I think we'll get these guys into our other target duchy and start sieging that. We're winning sieges up here. And a second son was born to our heir. Not a genius this time. But also, of course, not born in the purple yet. Since our son is not inherited, so... Our genius grandson still has priority. A priest has arrived and asked for an audience. After being shown in, he explains that his small church can no longer protect the holy relic it holds due to robbers plaguing the countryside. He therefore asks for your family to keep it. Yes, we shall protect it. Gain piety. Okay, so we don't outnumber him by a huge amount. So we'll just have to count on our superior, slightly superior numbers and our presumably superior commanders to win. Unfortunately, we'll be crossing a river from there, but I think we'll take the risk. Obviously, we'll wait for our morale to improve first. I guess we could quite easily just transport a few thousand more troops down. 
Not so many that we go over the supply limit. Well, actually, we're going to be just at the supply limit for this candy, so... <clears throat> maybe we'll just keep it as is. I think we're pretty likely to win this battle anyway. We should be fine. If we lose, well, I'll be sad, but... I'll accept the consequences of my actions. Let's go for it. So we did cross the river, of course, and they do not have commanders in two of their flanks. And the other one, Sheriff Eric here, is by no means a talented commander, so hopefully this will go pretty well. Suddenly, in the midst of battle, an arrow flies out of nowhere and hits you. Though the wound is light and the arrow easily removed, it is nevertheless painful. Some of your guards rush around you and pull you to the safety. One asks, what happened? Where did the arrow hit? Oh no, I took the arrow in my knee. Okay, we gain the trait wounded. Which, actually on top of being stressed, is not great. It is only minus one though, so our strength compensates for it. Looks like we are making good progress, especially in the center, though. And we have a new King Bishop of Jerusalem, which is kind of unfortunate because we had cause to imprison the last one. Uh, apparently we have cause to imprison this one as well, so... Actually, that's fine. Why won't you die? The enemy warrior screams as he lunges at you. Moments later, he falls down dead, slain by your own hand. So apparently our wound has not stopped us from kicking asses in this battle, so that's good. Alright, fighting across the field, we see an enemy soldier cut off from the others while we can't tell who. It's clear they must be a highborn noble. We'll charge at them. Is it King William, or is it... The Baron. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, we also have a dangerous faction. The Lower Crown Authority faction. Uh, so I guess we will... hand out some bribes to some of the cheaper people here. I guess 106 is okay. Uh, we are working on improving this guy's opinion, but I think we'll just send him a bribe and move our Chancellor elsewhere. Probably to one of these guys. In fact, this guy, because he's the one with the extra troops making his presence count for more in the faction. Alright, so back to the battle. Definitely going just fine. Gets us to 71% against Egypt. We'll follow to the next county and we might just siege back our holdings over here. No, actually, we want you to go down here. And... Yeah, we'd be over the supply limit there, unfortunately, in the Seljuk capital. But that would probably be okay if we just sent half that stack there. Okay, let's see if we can assault these back quickly. Uh, they're not adding up to the full 20%, so... Maybe we'd actually be better off sieging some land in our target duchy here. I presume we've taken care of the majority of their troops at this point. So why don't we just do both? My grandson is slowly mastering the art of diplomacy, that's good.
we win another siege up here. And we'll just send these 8,000 troops up to help with that. Uh, we can assault this, so I will. And let's fight some of these Egyptian troops before they can gather together. Alright, we had a county converted. Fulfilling our ambition. Take the same one again and move our guy. Looks like we have quite a lot converted at this point. We'll go up there. Alright, so we got another 500 over there. See if we can catch them. That looked like another Italian county getting converted. Uh, our moral authority is up to 72, so not too surprising that we are doing a bit better with conversions. Okay, let's just head here and see if we can assault this one. The war we fight has already cost many lives and many more will die. Can I really say that I enjoy war? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good time. I mean, I took an arrow to the knee, but it's no big deal. This duke usurping things, that's fine. Simakos has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he'll get hurt someday. I think we'll just have him become kind and gain diplomacy. since that will help him with grumpy vassals. Well, we have pretty good diplomacy ourselves, and it hasn't helped us that much. Well, I guess we'd ha be having even worse problems if we were terrible with diplomacy, wouldn't we? Alright, so the Seljuks have raised a large-ish army there, probably mercenaries or a holy order. So I think we'll act quickly send about 10,000 troops over there to fight them before they regain morale. And probably just start sieging the capital as well. They're looking to reinforce that, but won't have too much success, I think. Let's assault this. We're up to 91, and I think we'll just go fight this 2,500. We won that battle. And our faction has returned. Or rather, the Independence faction is, is uh, rising. I think we'll bribe this guy. We already have our Chancellor working on him. But I think it's important enough that we get him out of this faction quickly. Uh, let's go work on Thessalonica with our Chancellor. Uh, maybe we'll actually just follow this army and hopefully wipe it out before we start sieging there. Okay, we lost a siege to that Egyptian army, that's fine. 1-1 one, one against the Seljuks, though. Alright, uh, still winning sieges here, and it looks like he's gathered together 3,500 troops, which fortunately is not enough to assault either of our armies. So we can just continue to do that.
Hey, we took another siege, won another battle against the Seljuks, captured a prisoner. So we are at 88 against Egypt. We will not quite get up to 100 by taking this one county, probably. Actually, with this battle, maybe we will. Let's see how much we get from it. Uh, 10%, okay. Though it didn't seem to actually count for 10%. Hmm. Alright, well, either way, we're not too far off finishing, and it looks like we shouldn't have too much trouble in the other wars either. Though we are just about out of time for now, so we're going to have to wait to finish them in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and join me again then.